This is Ben Davidson, subscribe to Spirit Icon. I'm just sat here in the gym thinking how many people was out there who'd want to see me knock out Deontay Wilder in a massive, massive fight. The WBC champion versus the lineal heavyweight champion of the world. Both unbeaten, both over six foot six, both outspoken. The press comments would be epic. The fight would be serious. Serious fireworks. Who would want to see that? Because I know I would. Bronze bomber, you game. Or are you a jacker? Are you down or are you out? Holler at me or hit me up. I need to know what's going on, don't we, Ben? 100%. What will I do to him? Get ready for school, son. Take him to school like I did Vladimir. 100%. Peace out. Listen, any time, any place, anywhere, I'll fight you in your backyard. Right. Like a dumb glitch go, I'll beat you, you bum. You're a bum. Would we want to see it? Yes, I would. I would like to see that very, very much. Now, of course, there are a few things. Um, I mean, first of all, is he serious? Um, what's his kind of time frame? I don't know. I mean, is he talking, fight him next? Maybe cancel his date in Belfast and then maybe take on Wilder in, what, August, September time? Because we know in August he's over in Belfast. Um, so I don't know how serious he is. Is he just doing it just for a bit of notoriety? I don't know. Maybe try and get himself talked about between Joshua and Wilder as uh, we know that's going on maybe but I mean this could be a good thing with Wilder actually signing for Joshua because as we know he didn't respond to Joshua for four weeks and then suddenly out of the blue just accepted the terms to fight in the UK why because he thought that Joshua was going to be fighting Povetkin because the deadline had already passed for him to fight Povetkin so he come out yeah I accept the terms thinking that he'd already signed to fight Povetkin. So he threw himself in some hot water and now he's like, oh crap. So maybe with Tyson Fury calling him out now, if he's serious, of course, where he is saying, holler at me, let me know, all that kind of stuff. Maybe now Wilder will actually sign the contract. Maybe now we might actually get to see Joshua versus Wilder because, you know, it's very simple. Now, as much as Wilder says it's not about money, it's all about legacy. We know that's a complete cobbler, right? Of course we do, but um, you know, for him, it's better that he loses to Joshua and gets 15 to 20 million than it is to lose to Tyson Fury and get, what, 5 to 10 million, maybe? So there's a bit of a gulf of difference between paydays. So ultimately, he's probably going to prefer to lose to Joshua. Now, at the same time, with Joshua, Joshua will probably knock him out. With uh, Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury would run rings around him. In the condition he's in right now, I don't know. But he's nearly at fighting condition. He's only a stone away from what he was when he fought Vladimir Klitschko. So, you know, he could lose that. But of course, ring rust. And he did get tagged a couple of times. Uh, very, very, very close shots um, against Sefo Seferi. But could he take on Wilder right now? I don't know, to be honest. I really, really don't know. But Wilder wouldn't risk it. There's no way in hell on God's green earth that he would take on Tyson Fury right now. And as I said to you yesterday, the walls are closing in on Wilder. It's now got to a point where cherry picks and bums are no longer an option. These are the fights now that his fangirls can no longer give him a pass for. They can't encourage him and make excuses. Now already, as I said to you guys earlier on today, that his fangirls um, who've been asking for this fight between Wilder and Joshua for now, the best part of a year now, ever since Joshua beat Klitschko, Joshua's getting all the praise, all the hype, and they're like, well, what about our guy? Well, well who have we got? Oh, yeah, we've got Wilder. They kind of forgot that they even had Wilder. They haven't been supporting him his entire career. But, of course, now they're using Wilder as a way to get views, get subs, all that kind of stuff, create a bit of hate online, all that kind of thing. So, you know, now he's got the contract, they're kind of saying, well, maybe Wilder should go fight somewhere else. Basically, they're scared is what it is. But I don't really know why they're scared. I mean, their guy's going to get paid a crap load of money. You're going to see an, a huge fight. And you know what? Wilder could actually win. You know, all he's got to do is hit Joshua on the button like like he has with any other heavyweight. And he 
could be over. I'm not saying it would be over. I'm saying it could be over. But likewise, there's a very, very high risk that Joshua would outbox him and then knock him out. So, I don't know. Anyway, going back on to Tyson Fury, how serious is he? Don't know. Don't know. Is he just spewing? I have no idea. Is he serious? I have no idea. Um, if Tyson Fury wants to get him with Wilder right now, is it a big mistake? Maybe. Maybe. Don't know. But ultimately, is he serious? Um, you see, Tyson does a lot of things for pranks, for gags, just to get a reaction, just to see people's reaction. And, uh, you know, this could be one of those. But um, he does have a bit of an issue with Wilder at the minute. Um, and it, isn't it strange, though, that all the Wilder fans were all on Tyson Fury's side. Yeah, he's back and he's this, that and the other. He's the real champion. He's lineal and all that kind of thing. Why? Because he was chastising Joshua. And he's going to continue to chastise Joshua. Let's not pretend that he's not. <laughs> of course he is. Um, but because he said a couple of praiseful things towards Wilder, so suddenly he was great, even though they never liked him before. But now suddenly he's criticised Wilder. Isn't it strange? Now they don't like him again. Weird that, isn't it? Not biased at all. People call me biased. I am biased. Of course I'm biased. I'm biased with British fighters. I've said it since day one. But if you look in the comments below, at some point you'll probably see that uh, somebody somewhere has said that I'm biased. Yeah, I am biased. Of course I am. But yes, I would like to see the fight. Um, hopefully Tyson's serious. Got a feeling he's not, uh, to be honest. Um, if he is, um, he's probably got in his mind, well, yeah, we'll fight, but we won't fight until, what, February, March next year? I don't know. But he's not saying that right now. He's saying, or he's giving the impression, now. He's fighting now. So, I don't know. Tyson, do you want to fight Deontay Wilder now? Next. Wilder. Do you want to lose to Joshua for 15 to 20 million? Or do you want to lose to Tyson Fury for 5 to 10 million? Which one do you want? Either way, you're going to lose. The walls are closing in. Don't take them. Well, we all know you want Dominic Brazil. You see him as easy touch. Perfectly honest, I think you probably smashed the hell out of Dominic Brazil. But maybe not. You never know. Even so, it, it, even if you do, if you still avoid... Joshua and if you still avoid Tyson Fury you're going to have to deal with one body snatcher Dillian White and he will also ruin you see British fighters we have three that would destroy Deontay Wilder drop your thoughts below click that thumbs up subscribe catch you all in the next video listen there's only one Tyson Fury what you got to say about that Deontay